Hello and welcome and thanks for stopping by to check out this tutorial. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe and also check out the description for discounts on online training course. Now, most of the time you are writing code and you have uh, projects that up and running. But you want to make sure that what you create is valid, uh, is 100% correct. Uh, there are no issues. Uh, if you did a modification, this modification is actually valid and will not uh, like affect your code or your work and so on. To do so, for sure, you will be heading to create a unit test project where you write your own code and logic to make sure what you are writing is a hundred percent valid and correct so now we'll come down here we're gonna call the x unit uh, test project we're gonna hit next and we're gonna give it the appropriate name okay and give the project also a, a correct or appropriate name that you find suitable and we're gonna create this uh, project now you are not limited to x unit you x unit is one of my favorite uh, frameworks you can either use n unit or the microsoft testing project it's totally up to you but X unit, the nice thing, it's uh, like support uh, running in all the major platform as you can see from Mac OS to Linux to Windows. And also it's built on top of .NET Core. And uh, like it's widely used and there are like a lot of references for it. Now, we're gonna create this project. And after we are creating this project, notice that we will be presented with sample test class that is used to like uh, to show us the project and also so we can like have something to start with. So now notice right here inside my test explorer and if you are updating your project to the latest version of Visual Studio 2019 notice that you can see all the tests that is available for you and you can also come down here and run your tests now if you have a successful and running uh, like correctly unit test you will have a green arrow if you have a failed one uh, you will uh, like have a red arrow and it will not work now what I will do I'll come down here and add this uh, unit test class I'm gonna just add a class and I'm gonna call it my main test or tests now in X unit you don't need to do too much to have a unit test you just need to go to the create your methods with the fact keyword and then you can just come down here and create a new method and I'm gonna call it uh, like give it the name of uh, is running now inside here we're gonna do an assert the assert is the static class that via it we can test our code test conditions make sure these conditions are passed and correct and 
we can like make sure this way that our work is ra uh, like running smoothly now inside the assert we have all these methods that you can use to test theories and hypotheses about your code and make sure that everything is correct so now I'm gonna assert true which to make sure that our own uh, conditions or values we have here that match some kind of a condition so it's correct now I'm gonna just do a sample uh, code here to demonstrate the abilities for you and notice from here from this uh, info I can run this test so I can see its results and it's gonna turn green as you can see now if it has passed now what if I want to see my code running and see if I can like what is actually going on inside the code and make sure that my test is having the correct data now if you add a breakpoint and debug your tests like this notice that you will receive a breakpoint on the same line that you specify the test you can also uh, like you can evaluate this okay if the expression like has been evaluated now this is like return void but if you do this you will see the actual value for your code now what if we have our own condition if we have a condition like this and we run our test you will see that the indicator is turning red as you can see now and if you come to the tests explorer you can see the failing unit test now also we have some summaries over here that it can show you which line uh, the unit test is contained how long does it take like how long did it take for duration and the message the message as you can see it's tell you that the assert method has failed and it's not correct now what I will do I'll show you more capabilities of X unit and do the following I'm gonna add a new fact from scratch I'm gonna get, call it public void calculate hopefully I spilled it correctly and here I'll do the following what I will do I will declare integers I'm gonna say int x equal 1 int y equal maybe 3 and do the following I will just do some assertion I'm gonna assert that for true that um, y is greater than x I'm gonna assert another one that I'm gonna use this time false that x uh, is greater than y which is not correct as you can see here uh, also we have that uh, the equal method if they are like equal in the value I'm gonna use not equal actually uh, hopefully okay we have the correct method okay oops sorry okay not equals let's use equal 
and we are correct now we have all these uh, like conditions and as soon as we uh, run this method all this needs to be true or our unit test has failed notice that it has failed on the equal uh, side because like they are not equal so we're gonna call the not equal and we're gonna run this notice now we shall have a successful uh, test and it has been like succeeded now now also what if we want to have a parameterized test where we can test a value multiple times so I'm gonna come down here let's say I have this method right here I'm gonna call it at I'm gonna call int x int y and here we will be adding the value of x and y and uh, let's say that we have this variable of z which is equal x plus y now here we want to pass data to this method so we can test it to do so we're gonna call a theory now here we need to pass some inline data the inline data is the values that we want to pass to this method to be like done more than one time so let's say i want to pass two two and also the value of adding two and two is four but we need to come down here and say and expected for the expected value now we need to come down here and call an assertion and we wanna make sure that uh, z is equal to the expected value and here we can now run the test and make sure that our inline data is correct and notice that we have now a successful unit test now also I'm gonna duplicate this multiple times I'm gonna say 3 uh, and 7 equals 10 we have 1 and uh, 4 equals 5 and the last one I'm gonna like uh, make it wrong I'm gonna say uh, 7 plus 2 is equal to 4 which is not correct now we're gonna run this test and you will notice with me that this has failed and also notice that the tests has been grouped and as you notice we can see that we have three pass tests and one failed test using the inline data and the theory so this was a quick introduction to unit testing with the Visual Studio 2019. I hope you enjoyed and find this, uh, use, uh, this video useful. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, and check out the description for discounts on online training courses. And make sure you go to our website, uh, tutorialsxl.com, where you can find some valuable content. Thank you for watching.